Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using variation of parameters method. So let's get going. Problem. Solve y double dash minus 2y dash plus 2y equal to e power x tan x or d square minus 2d plus 2 into y equal to e power x tan x using variation of parameters method. So we are given a differential equation of order 2. Given differential equation. y double dash minus 2y dash plus 2y equal to e power x tan x right now we can write d square y by dx square as sorry y double dash as d square y by dx square minus 2 into write y dash as dy by dx plus 2y equal to e power x tan x consider this equation as equation 1 now let's use differential operator capital D we can write d square y by dx square as capital D square y minus 2 into write dy by dx as capital dy plus 2y equal to e power x tan x okay now take y common from all the terms of LHS we'll get d square minus 2d plus 2 into y equal to e power x tan x consider it as equation number 2 which is an operator form say f of d into y equal to some function of x where f of d is d square minus 2d plus 1 sorry d square minus 2d plus 2 now let's write the homogeneous equation of equation 2 The homogeneous equation of 2 is d square minus 2d plus 2 into y equal to 0. Consider it as equation number 3. Now, we'll find the solution to this homogeneous equation using the auxiliary equation. Later, using the solution of homogeneous equation, we'll find the general solution to 1 and 2. See, equation 2 is the equation in operator form okay all right I mean the equation 1 in operator form is our equation 2 otherwise okay fine now coming to the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0 where f of m equal to we have f of d d square minus 2d plus 2 right let's replace the differential operated v, d by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m square minus 2m plus 2 then the auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 2m plus 2 equals to 0 now we need to find roots to this equation so here we are going to apply quartic formula minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a just compare the quartic equation with quartic equation the general quartic equation we can say in n so that we'll get abc now just substitute the values we'll get minus of minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 whole square minus 4 a c by 2 a this gives us 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 whole square 4 minus 4 2 is 8 by 2 which is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 8 is minus 4 again you can write square root of minus 4 as square root of minus 1 into 4 for our convenience Again, you can split the square root as square root of minus 1 into square root of 4. Since we know that square root of minus 1 is i and square root of 4 is 2. So, we'll get i into 2 by 2. Now, take 2 common from the numerator. We'll get 2 times 1 plus or minus i by 2 where 2 gets cancelled. And we'll get 1 plus or minus i 
a pair of complex conjugate roots. Therefore, m equal to 1 plus or minus i. The roots are complex conjugate. We know that when two roots are complex conjugate, say a plus r minus i b, then the solution to homogeneous equation looks like y equal to e power a x into one constant into cos b x plus another constant into sin b x. Here I am taking c3, c4 instead of c1 and c2 because I want c1 and c2 to appear in the last general solution, right? Now coming to our solution. The solution to homogeneous equation is y equal to just compare 1 plus or minus i with a plus or minus i b then for a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 we'll get e power 1 into x of c3 cos 1x plus c4 sin 1x right or e power x of c3 cos x plus c4 sin x therefore y equal to e power x times c3 cos x plus c4 sin x is solution to a homogeneous equation let see or you can write this as e power x or c3 e power x cos x plus c4 e power x sin x okay let y equal to just replace the constants or parameters with some functions of x a and b we'll get y equal to a e power x cos x plus b e power x sin x be the general solution to 1 and 2 where a and b are functions of x okay we are saying that y equal to a e power x cos x plus b e power x sin x is a general solution to 1 and 2 which means that it is a solution to 1 and 2 right so it uh, satisfies equation 1 right we can say that y equal to a e power x cos x plus b e power x sin x satisfies equation 1 so we need to find y dash and y double dash and substitute y y dash y double dash in equation 1 let's find y dash and y double dash using this y we have y equal to a e power x cos x plus b e power x sin x right let's now find y dash y dash equals to a e power x cos x whole dash plus b e power x sin x whole dash here we are going to apply uv whole dash formula which is u dash v plus v dash u which gives us a dash e power x cos x i'll consider e power x cos x as one function and a as one function we'll get a dash into e power x cos x plus a into e power x cos x whole dash plus here we'll consider e power x sin x as one function b as another function so we'll get b dash into e power x sin x plus b into e power x sin x whole dash right this gives us a dash into e power x cos x plus a times here also we need to apply uv whole dash formula e power x whole dash cos x plus e power x into cos x whole dash plus b dash e power x sin x 
plus b into e power x whole dash sin x plus e power x into sin x whole dash. Okay. Which gives us y equal to a dash e power x cos x plus a into e power x whole dash derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x cos x plus e power x into derivative of cos x with respect to x is minus sin x plus b dash e power x sin x plus b into derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x sin x plus e power x into derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x. This gives us a dash e power x cos x plus a into e power x cos x plus into minus minus e power x sin x plus b dash e power x sin x plus b into e power x sin x plus e power x cos x which gives us a dash e power x cos x plus a e power x cos x minus a e power x sin x plus b dash e power x sin x plus b e power x sin x plus b e power x cos x. Now write the terms involving a dash and b dash. Firstly, we'll get a dash e power x cos x plus b dash e power x sin x. Now write the terms involving a. We'll have a e power x cos x minus a e power x sin x. Now write the terms involving b plus b e power x sin x plus b e power x cos x. Let a dash e power x cos x plus b dash e power x sin x equals to 0. Let a dash e power x cos x plus b dash e power x sin x equals to 0. Consider it as equation number 4. So that y a double dash and b double dash will not appear while finding y double dash. Okay. And y dash becomes zero plus a e power x cos x minus a e power x sin x plus b e power x sin x plus b e power x cos x which gives us a e power x cos x minus a e power x sin x plus b e power x sin x plus b e power x cos x which is a required y dash. Let's now find y double dash. We have y dash. Let's now find y double dash. y double dash equals to a e power x cos x whole dash minus a e power x sin x whole dash plus b e power x sin x whole dash plus b e power x cos x whole dash. Right? Again, we'll apply uv whole dash formula. We'll consider e power x cos x as one function and a as one function. We'll get a dash e power x cos x. We are going to apply uv whole dash formula. Which is u dash v plus v dash u. This gives us plus a into e power x cos x whole dash minus of a dash e power x sin x plus a into e power x sin x whole dash plus b dash 
e power x sin x plus b into e power x sin x whole dash plus b dash e power x cos x plus b into e power x cos x whole dash. Then y double dash becomes a dash e power x cos x plus a into e power x cos x whole dash is e power x whole dash cos x plus e power x into cos x dash minus of a dash e power x sin x plus a into e power x whole dash sin x again you need to apply uv whole dash formula here plus e power x into sin x whole dash plus b dash e power x sin x plus b into e power x dash sin x plus e power x into sin x dash plus b dash e power x cos x plus b into e power x dash cos x plus e power x into cos x dash which gives us a dash e power x cos x plus a times derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x cos x plus e power x into derivative of cos x with respect to x is minus sin x minus of a dash e power x sin x plus a times derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x sin x plus e power x into derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x plus b dash e power x sin x plus b times derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x sin x plus e power x into derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x plus b dash e power x cos x plus b times derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x cos x plus e power x into derivative of cos x with respect to x is sin minus sin x. Which gives us a dash e power x cos x plus a times e power x cos x plus into minus minus e power x sin x minus of a dash e power x sin x plus a times e power x sin x plus e power x cos x plus b dash e power x sin x plus b times e power x sin x plus e power x cos x plus b dash e power x cos x plus b times e power x cos x plus into minus minus e power x sin x This gives us a dash e power x cos x plus a e power x cos x minus a e power x sin x minus of a dash e power x sin x plus a e power x sin x plus a e power x cos x plus b dash e power x sin x plus b e power x sin x plus b e power x cos x.
plus b dash e power x cos x plus b e power x cos x minus b e power x sin x. This gives us a dash e power x cos x plus a e power x cos x minus a e power x cos sorry it's sin x minus a dash e power x sin x minus into plus minus a e power x sin x minus into plus minus a e power x cos x plus b dash e power x sin x plus b e power x sin x plus b e power x cos x plus b dash e power x cos x plus b e power x cos x minus b e power x sin x. So here plus a e power x cos x minus a e power x cos x gets cancelled and plus b e power x sin x minus b e power x sin x gets cancelled and this results to y double dash equal to a dash e power x cos x minus a e power x sin x minus a dash e power x sin x minus okay minus a e power sin x minus a e power sin x is minus 2a e power sin e power x sin x okay plus b dash e power x sin x plus b e power sin x sorry b e power b e power x cos x plus b e power cos x gives 2b e power x cos x and the remaining term plus b dash e power x cos x now write the terms involving a dash and b dash firstly we'll get a dash e power x cos x minus a dash e power x sin x plus b dash e power x sin x plus b dash e power x cos x and the remaining terms minus 2a e power x sin x plus 2b e power x cos x which is a required y double dash okay we got y double dash y dash and y right let's substitute all these three in equation one we have equation one y double dash minus 2y dash plus 2y equal to e power x tan x right let's now substitute y y dash and y double dash we get y double dash a dash e power x cos x minus a dash e power x sin x plus b dash e power x sin x plus b dash e power x cos x minus 2a e power x sin x plus 2b e power x cos x minus 2 times y dash a e power x cos x minus a e power x sin x plus b e power x sin x plus b e power x cos x plus 2 times y a e power x cos x plus b e power x sin x equal to e power x tan x this gives us a dash e power x cos x minus a dash e power x sin x plus b dash e power x sin x plus b dash e power x cos x minus 2a dash sorry it's 2a 2a e power x sin x plus 2b e power x cos x 
माइनस टू ए ई पॉर एक्स कॉस एक्स माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस टू ए ई पॉर एक्स साइन एक्स माइनस इंटू प्लस माइनस टू बी ई पॉर एक्स साइन एक्स माइनस इंटू प्लस माइनस टू बी ई पॉर एक्स कॉस एक्स प्लस टू ए पॉर एक्स कॉस एक्स प्लस टू बी ई पॉर एक्स साइन एक्स इक्वल टू पॉर एक्स टेन एक्स नोट इज हिंग माइनस टू ए पॉर एक्स साइन एक्स एंड प्लस टू ए पॉर माइनस सॉरी प्लस टू ए पॉर एक्स साइन एक्स विच गेट कैंसिल एंड टू बी पॉर एक्स कॉस एक्स एंड माइनस टू बी पॉर एक्स कॉस एक्स गेट कैंसिल माइनस टू बी पॉर एक्स साइन एक्स एंड प्लस टू बी पॉर एक्स साइन एक्स गेट कैंसिल माइनस टू ए पॉर एक्स कॉस एक्स एंड प्लस टू ए पॉर एक्स कॉस एक्स गेट कैंसिल ओके दिस रिजल्ट्स टू ए डैश ई पॉर एक्स कॉस एक्स माइनस ए डैश ई पॉर एक्स साइन एक्स प्लस बी डैश ई पॉर एक्स साइन एक्स प्लस बी डैश ई पॉर एक्स कॉस एक्स इक्वल टू ई पॉर एक्स tan x now take a dash common from the first two terms and b dash common from the next two terms or simply take e power x common firstly from all the four terms of lhs we'll get e power x times a dash cos x minus a dash sin x plus b dash sin x plus b dash cos x equal to e power x tan x now take this e power x to rhs we'll get a dash cos x minus a dash sin x plus b dash sin x plus b dash cos x equal to e power x tan x by e power x where e power x gets cancelled right Now take a dash common from the first two terms and b dash common from the next two terms. We'll get a dash times cos x minus sine x plus b dash times sine x plus cos x equal to tan x. Consider as equation five. Now, okay, from we have equation four and equation five, right? We'll solve equation four and equation five to find a dash and b dash. So we have equation four: a dash e power x cos x plus b dash e power x sine x equals to zero. If you take e power x common from the first two terms of LHS or the two terms of LHS, you we'll get e e power x times a dash cos x. Plus b dash sine x equals to zero, which gives us a dash cos x plus b dash sine x equal to zero. Consider as equation six. Okay. Now let's solve equation six and equation five instead of solving four and five. Okay. Because we have eliminated e power x from this equation, and in equation four we are having e e power x. So after eliminating e power x from equation four, we got the Six equation, so we are going to solve equation five and equation six here to find a dash and b dash. Otherwise, if you have not eliminated e power six from equation five, okay, you can just solve equation four and equation five to find a dash and b dash. But we need uh, two equations which does not involve e power x now, so I'm considering six and five. We have equation six and five, right? We need to solve these two equations to find a dash and b dash. Just observe the term involving a dash. Firstly, we have a dash cos x in equation five and a dash of cos x minus sine x in equation six, right? So in order to cancel the terms involving a dash from both the equations, what we'll do is we just need a uh, cos x sine minus sine x in equation six, right? And Cos x in equation five. Just multiply equation six with cos x minus sine x and equation five with cos x. A 
a dash cos x into cos x minus sin x plus b dash sin x into cos x minus sin x equal to 0 and equation 5 becomes a dash cos x into cos x minus sin x plus b dash cos x into sin x plus cos x equal to cos x tan x right now change the signs here plus cos sorry plus a dash cos x of cos x minus sin x and minus a dash cos x of cos x minus sin x gets cancelled and you'll get b dash sin x of cos x minus sin x minus b dash cos x of sin x plus cos x equal to minus cos x tan x which gives us b dash sin x cos x minus b dash sin x into sin x sin square x minus b dash sin x cos x minus into plus minus b dash cos x into cos x cos square x equal to minus cos x into we can write this tan x as sin x by cos x right where cos x gets cancelled and cancel b dash sin x cos x minus b dash sin x cos x now just take okay write the remaining terms minus b dash sin square x minus b dash cos square x equal to minus sin x now take minus common from the first two terms of LHS or minus b dash common we can say minus b dash of sin square x plus cos square x equal to minus sin x right we have minus b dash of sin square x plus cos square x equal to minus sin x since we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 from this we'll get sin square x plus cos square x equals to 1 so you'll, you can replace the term with 1 equal to minus sin x this gives us b dash equals to sin x right therefore b dash equal to sin x we got b dash let's now find a dash by substituting b dash in equation 6 we have equation 6 a dash cos x plus b dash sin x equals to 0 right now take the second term to rhs we'll get a dash cos x equals to minus b dash sin x okay now substitute b dash here which is sin x right this gives us minus sin square x or better sin x into sin x okay now we are having a dash cos x equal to minus sin x into sin x right or just write sin square x Now you'll get a dash equals to minus sine square x by cos x. Since we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. So we can replace this take cos square theta to RHS will get sine square theta equal to 1 minus cos square theta, right? Now replace sine square x with 1 minus cos square x since sin square x equals to 1 minus cos square x so we are going to replace the numerator right which gives us minus 1 plus cos square x 
by cos x. If you observe, we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So we can split the total fraction into two fractions, say 1 minus 1 by cos x plus cos square x by cos x, which gives us minus, you know, the reciprocal of cos theta is secant theta. So we'll get a secant x here plus if you cancel 1 cos x, you'll get plus cos x. Therefore, a dash equals to minus secant x plus cos x. We got a dash and b dash. Let's now find a, b using a dash and b dash. We have a dash equals to minus secant x plus cos x, right? a dash is nothing but derivative of a with respect to x. Now let's separate the variables by taking the differential dx to RHS. We'll get dA equal to minus secant x plus cos x to dx or dA equal to minus secant x dx plus cos x dx where the variables are separable. So we can perform integration here. Integral dA equal to minus integral secant x dx plus integral cos x dx. Since we know that integral secant theta d theta equal to log mod secant theta tan theta and integral cos theta d theta is sin theta. So now double equation becomes integral dA a equal to minus integral secant x dx for theta equal to x you'll get log mod secant x plus tan x plus integral cos x dx is sin x plus some integral constant is c1 which is a required a here or a equal to minus log of secant x plus tan x plus sin x plus c1 therefore a equal to minus log of secant x plus tan x plus sin x plus c1 which is a required a let's now find b we have b dash equals to sin x right b dash is nothing but derivative of b with respect to x let's now separate the variables by taking the differential dx to rhs we'll get db equal to sin x dx where the variables are separable so we can perform integration This gives us b equals to integral sin x dx is minus cos x plus some integral constant say c2. Therefore b equal to minus cos x plus c2. We got a and b. Let's now find the general solution. Therefore the general solution is given by y equal to a e power x cos x plus b e power x sin x. Substitute a and b here. We have a minus log of secant x plus tan x plus sin x plus c1 into e power x cos x plus b minus cos x plus c2 into e power x sin x. This gives us minus e power x cos x log of secant x plus tan x plus e power x sin x cos x plus c1 e power x cos x plus into minus minus e power x sin x cos x plus c2 
e power x sin x. So here plus e power x sin x cos x and minus e power x sin x cos x gets cancelled and we'll get minus e power x cos x log of secant x plus tan x plus c1 e power x cos x plus c2 e power x sin x or y equal to minus e power x cos x log of secant x plus tan x plus Take e power x common from the last two terms, we'll get e power x times c1 cos x plus c2 sin x or we can just write this as e power x of c1 cos x plus c2 sin x minus e power x cos x log of secant x plus tan x which is the required solution. Therefore, y equal to e power x of c1 cos x plus c2 sin x minus e power x cos x log of secant x plus tan x which completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from variation of parameters method in this video. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.